Okay, so today at the fair I seen an Egyptian foot bath. I want to see if it's a hoax. I noticed that they were putting an electric array in water and then they're sprinkling like minerals or salt into the water. So I got a glass of water, I got a 9 volt battery, and then I have two nails made of steel, iron oxide. I'm going to put them in the water with some salt and see how long it takes before we have the same orange sludge they, sludge they have. So let me just, uh, that looks like enough salt, I guess. I don't know. Let's put it in there. Did I get it any, any of it in there? There we go. There's salt. Okay, so we got the salt in there, like the guy did. I've got a 9 volt battery. Hooked it up. Put this in this side. And we put this one on this side. Let's see what happens here. I don't know if it's got a good enough connection, but. And then in a little bit, we should have a bunch of murkiness. So let's just set it down right here. Okay, so we're back here and it's a little over an hour and a half. And uh, we can see that it's significantly changed. Quick Google search online, I found some information about this Egyptian foot bath thing, or ionic foot bath, or whatever it is. It's interesting, the human mind is a wonderful thing. We can convince ourselves that if we spend the money on something to make us feel better, chances are we'll feel better. The simple fact about the ion foot baths and foot pads is they are smoke and mirrors. The detox foot bath works when salt water reacts to the electrodes. It is basically corrosion. The makers and sellers of these products use confusing words and try to sound scientific. However, the bottom line is that they are modern day snake oil salesmen. Looking to scam you out of your hard earned money. So here's the scoop. After the unit is allowed to work for several minutes, the bath will fill with iron chloride, with or without your feet in it. It is from the electrolytic interaction between the sodium chloride, which is salt, that was put in the water, and the iron in the electrodes, hence the smoke and mirrors. Note that the iron chloride is mildly poisonous and aggressive against many metals. You can easily repeat this process, the same thing we've done here, dissolve a spoonful of salt into a glass of water and connect the poles of a 9 volt battery to two large nails and place them in the water. They must not touch. First you will see gas bubbles like we did on what I think is the negative one, and they're still, if you come around this way, you can still see the bubbles bubbling. Look. Yeah, you get it right here really good. So you'll see the gas bubbles. And then on this other one, a bunch of murky stuff happens. It's been a little over an hour and a half. Then after a while, the water turns brown with a mixture of colors. What the colors really mean is that you shelled out money to put your feet in a bucket of sludge. All such devices should be considered medically worthless. Detox foot pads claim to also remove toxins, but again, this is impossible because we know that the liver detoxifies. Remember, the skin has no ability to excrete toxins. Real detox on foreign, of foreign subjects, substances takes place in the liver, which modifies their chemical structure so they can be excreted by the kidneys which filter them from the blood into the urine. This is basically a placebo effect, the result of people feeling better, nothing more. Again, the power of the mind. So let's take a look at everything we got here. It's turned a different color. This one bubbles. It's on the negative. This one has a bunch of stuff see it's rusted and corroded and then down inside we got a bunch of 
stuff you'd find in your foot bath. Big chunk fell down there.